Oh my goodness, this might be working. Something's going wonky with this wonderful, beautiful internet social media website we have here. Um, I have now been trying for 30 minutes to paint with you guys, and it looks like it might be working. I literally have been doing this for 30 minutes, waiting, trying. Is somebody here? Say hello, welcome. Monica Gray is on here. Okay, it's working. I have a really poor connection today, apparently, because like I said, I've been trying this now for 30 minutes, um, but you're here, and it seems to be working. Um, I promised you guys I would be back on um, today at noon, but I literally have been right here painting <clears throat> since noon, so I apologize that I'm a little bit late. I really was here, and I really did attempt to get started at noon, but meanwhile, I started painting this while I'm waiting for my internet connection. Um, welcome, it's Monday, and it's cold, and it's snowing in Oklahoma. Um, not complaining. You don't hear any complaints from me, because it's that pretty kind of snow. It's not the icy kind, it's that pretty snow. I got up this morning about 5.40, Elijah was headed out to the gym and I wanted to run and tell him to be careful because it's like the first year that he's really gonna be driving on ice and snow and stuff. So I ran in here and I said, honey. And about that time we both look outside and it's just the beautiful kind of snow. You know, the big, huge, chunky flakes. That's my favorite. Um, if it's gonna snow, I like that kind. So that's what we have. It's very, very cold. I've been waiting. Thought you might have said, forget it, it's too cold. Oh no, I didn't have any service. I've never had that happen in this way over and over and over. I've rebooted, I've shut off. I don't even think, I think I turned off my Wi-Fi. Any, anyway, gave me the opportunity to get started on this side. So um, this is the armoire I've been working on. We're like on, you know, part six here. We've got black velvet, hay sailor, French millinery, and kissing booth is what I just added. And um, we're gonna drop down here to this bottom section and do mermaid tail and hey sailor again. Hey, Miss Colorado bound girl. Jasmine in the house. Oh, these beanies are my favorite too. So let's drop it down here a little bit lower. Um, and we're going to follow up with the mermaid tail. And um, Guys, I'm sorry, internet's so wonky today. And I'm out of my I'm out of my normal spot here. Is someone here? Now I feel like someone's here. It's weird. Um Okay. Part six. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. And then I'm we're gonna add an IOD transfer as well. Hopefully we can get that done today too. I'm really just crossing my fingers that the internet connection works because it's just been it's just been wonky. So um, I'm going to grab my mermaid tail and have my hay sailor handy and my water. Okay, it's working. It's working for now. If something happens and I lose you, I'll come back. Promise. Okay, so this was Kissing Booth. I'm going to overlap the mermaid tail over it, and then I need to flip the piece around and get started on the other side. I really wanted to have this piece done today and photographed for you guys tomorrow. I feel like there's a car outside, but what I'm thinking is that's just the wind blowing so stinking hard today. Like the wind's picking up, you know? I'm super proud of you. You're proud of me? Thanks. I would really, 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 really love to have my flip flops on today. Really like summer weather, I'm not gonna lie. But I don't wanna complain because it could be 113 degrees and that's just not necessary either. It's a little early for snow, Elijah. <laughs> Elijah came home for lunch and he says, why is why are we in school? I'm like, honey, it's like snow flurries. Give me a break. You know, any reason to be out of school though, you know how all the kids are. So this is just gonna be mermaid tail. I'm overlapping the kissing booth. And we're getting like a little purple color there. Let 
then we'll finish up with Hey Sailor on the bottom and we'll add our copper patina that we created with the golden ticket and the marquee color. You know what I need? I need my French, I need my French tip, Josie, to get in the insects here. This brush is so wonderful when you're working on pieces like this that has the trim inset like that. It makes my life easier. All these products make my life easier. This brush up guy from Colorist Concept, so I don't get Abby's hair on the piece of furniture. So I'm gonna work around here on this edges really quickly. Is everybody having a good Monday? I hope so. We had pretty good weather over the weekend. I've got my demo day coming up on Saturday um, at the Spruce Cooperative in Edmond. I'm gonna do a free demo. I'll be there for two hours, just, just painting, just talking and teaching and painting. That's my newest location where I'm selling DIY paint. Um, it's in Edmond on 2nd Street. I haven't memorized the address yet, but. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the inset here. I've got three basketball games this week too. It's gonna to be so busy this week. Three basketball games in the evenings for the boys, for one boy. Love me some basketball though. I love that it's in a gym and it's not out at the ball field. <laughs> okay, we're getting close. You're just popping on here for the first time this is like part six of me working on this armoire or wardrobe whatever you want to call it um, I've been using DIY paint and I'm using iron orchid design transfers um, I'm excited to show you this piece photograph so you can see all the yummy goodness details that are hiding out all over the front of it okay I'm gonna move on to hey sailor blend over this marquee, I mean this mermaid toe, and finish up the bottom of this. I work in sections and I work when the paint is wet so the colors blend together smoothly, seamlessly, and overlap. I'm usually gonna pull, pull the colors over each other too and maybe even go up here a little bit, dry brushing a little bit with the blue over the pink. Just adding some texture and layers. Abby's probably gonna bark here in a second, you guys, because I heard a car door next door, so she's gonna bark. I just made a huge mess. What's up with that? What's up with that? I'm not used to that. I mean, I'm even gonna like get up and clean my hands. Hold up. Okay. All right, so with a little bit of that Hey Sailor still on my brush, I know, right, Marlis? Um, I'm gonna tilt this up. I'm a little off my game today, I'm not gonna lie. The internet thing threw me off a little bit. Um, there's a little bit still left on my brush. I'm not gonna dip it, but I am gonna just kind of lightly dry brush over the, this, the lighter color up here for a little texture. Now the front of this, if you missed it, <laughs> yay Shelly! Jump back in the van really quickly. 
it's got to be freezing there in Michigan where she is. Um, we're going to use a white wax over this, so I'm excited for that. Love the white wax. Okay. Okay. So, let's get all of this out of the way. So, if you have been watching me, you know that we're doing um, an IOD transfer on this. And I took the large one that came, comes out of the roll. You can see the rolls over here in this bucket over here. I literally just took out the huge one. It's 33 inches long, 24 inches wide, and I cut it into eight different sections. So the script is just kind of falling on top of it. First time catching you live. Well, welcome, Nina, honey. I'm glad you caught me. I better put this paint in my tray before I kick it because I'm kind of off my game today and I'm thinking this would be the day I would kick it. Um, so we're going to transfer this just kind of randomly in a spot here. Actually, I may overlap it a little bit on the edge. Um, just a little bit. Yeah, I don't know, maybe here, here, right there. That's what I'm gonna do, right there. Let me grab my little tool. This tool comes with each one of them. It just helps you transfer. Hi guys, I'm so glad you're here. Me too, Danae. I can't wait to get my first order in. Um, all right, so you just kind of have to hold it in place. Like I said, I'm going to be transferring the letters then sanding them down with my sanding sponge. This is a 320 grit and really distress them and then we'll put the white wax over them. Okay, perfect spot. I'm with you, Malia. Okay, so I'm gonna do it like this. It's not going to be perfect because we don't do perfect around here. Unless you Matt, I think Matt thinks he does everything perfect, but don't tell him I said that. He doesn't, but I think he thinks he does. And Elijah thinks he does everything perfect too. I'm sure nobody says that about me ever. Ever. Messages, messages. Oh, good grades. Isn't it great having the parent portal app on your phone? Right? Right? Jerry thinks he does too, right, Josie? Okay, I don't know what the deal is, but this is not wanting to transfer. It's not usually that hard. And I'm probably not gonna do all the letters. I want it to look really distressed. So if I miss a few letters here and there, that's a bonus. This piece is kind of a French boho inspired. And this might not, maybe it's because it's 60 degrees in here, maybe it's decided it doesn't wanna work. I can't talk to you guys while I'm doing this because I can't read your questions and comments. But I think the weather is affecting my transfer here. It's not wanting to cooperate too well. Hang on. I love the distressed look of it. And I need to switch over on this side, I think. Okay, let's try that again. Problem. 
it's not transferring. Y'all have any tips? It's the weather, isn't it? Don't go anywhere. I got a plan. It's not, it's not coming off as smoothly and easily as it should. So one moment, mo one moment. About to heat this baby up, see if that works better. It is the weather. Ah, yeah, it is. It's all good. It's just the weather. It's 60 degrees in here, which should be plenty. But if I just heat it up just a smidge, I'll heat it up a smidge. It should work just fine. These papers have been out here all night, so maybe it's just, maybe it's just, you know, is your paint dry? I don't know. Mostly. Oh, this feels good. Someone would just hold this out here while I paint. Okay, I'm learning. Thanks for the tips. What did you say no, no for? No, no. Am I doing it wrong? Dry the piece. Off the transfer. Cute. This is fun. I like the, I like to heat up the transfer. We'll see. Just bear with me. Feeling the queen of working with wet paint. Right. Right. I don't like to wait. Y'all are here now. Miss Impatient. been called that a few times. I'm not gonna lie. Much better. I'm gonna take my little sanding box. I'm gonna go. Tsh. I like how you coordinate your attire with your piece. Hey, girl, look at me. I didn't do that on purpose, Shelly, but I like that idea. Like, I, I plan to get an air bubble under the letters and paint always needs to be dry and not wax or sealed prior. It's not wax or sealed, Angel, but thank you. Thank you for that. So maybe it's not dry. Maybe I thought it was and it wasn't. But I kind of. You know what? I kind of like heating these babies up just a smidge. Oh, I have garage heaters, honey. That was a birthday present last year. You can hear the heater running. I do have a garage heater. It's a heavy duty one too. That's why it's 60 degrees in here and not 40. <laughs> Oh yeah, much better now. But 
I want it to look distressed, so there's parts of the letters that I'm not transferring on purpose. I want a few more of the sentences down here. And then I'll show you the front so you see what it's supposed to supposed to look like. Oh wait. Give her some warmth and she's ready to work. Okay, let you guys peek around the corner over there. ladies, gentlemen. Okay, now, let me show you what the front looks like so you get an idea where we're going with it. Whoops, sorry, wrong side. Just so you see. Here's what the transfer look like Bef afterwards. I've sanded it, distressed it, and then put a white wax over the whole piece. Um, you can see a little bit here. And here. And then the bottom actually. So the goal is now I just need to get the sides to have the same weathered look. So I'll be coming back in with another color, which is the Queen Bee, because I wanna have like this uh, warm green color mixed in somewhere right here. And then I will add my metallic copper in like the creases, and then I'll spray that and get that metallic going and wet. Look how you waxed. About to head back to work. I get you, Kendra. sticks down. Just going to lightly go over this real quick. some of that copper. Are they reading backwards because of the camera? Yeah, I think on Facebook Live on my phone, uh, bye Sally, it's flipped. Yeah. Okay, so what I want to do now is I made this little um, copper concoction from Gold Metallic, which um, this is Golden Ticket from DIY, but you could always water down some gold if you wanted. And then I added a few drops of Marquee to it. Marquee is our dark red and um, gave me this really beautiful copper color. 
I really want some of that down in the edges. I'm going to use my French tip from Paint Pixie. Good, I was hoping to catch you at your lunch break. That's great. And I'm just going to kind of press it in here into the seams. A little bit in here. It's pretty drippy. It's watery. Okay. I have a lot of copper on the front of it. And I want it to just drip here. Drip here. I know you... I'm thinking this looks awful. Why is she doing it like that? But just bear with me. Bear with me, guys. Oops. Okay. You gotta sit there and let it sit for a few minutes. Thanks. Um, I think someone just said, do you have a heater in your garage? And I said, yes. I do have a big wall uh, hanging heater. It's just a two car garage. So it's about 60 degrees in here right now. Um, we're gonna sit here for just a second and let that water um, saturate the metallic. And then we're gonna let that metallic um, drip just a little bit more because when it drives it'll be much more smooth and not so visible like this. there is what I'm after the way that looks right there I don't have any wax on it yet not yet the wax will be the last thing I do once this is all dry and I get it just the way I want it then I'll add the white wax so far this looks exactly the way I want it I might grab my brush again and kind of um, encourage a little bit of it to drip a little more Actually, I don't really think it needs to. It, it looks really good. Yeah, I'm good. The um, copper looks really good over Mermaid Tail. Just FYI, you might write that down as a really good combination. It's very wet right now, but you can see right here that the copper sitting on the Hey Sailor, and it's really comp complementing these colors underneath it. Um, once this dries more so, I will distress it a little bit more. Um, I haven't waxed anything yet on the side. The wax will be the last thing that I do. Um, I missed part of the question, so I'm not sure. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'll need to go up here to the top with the copper in a few other areas. And then down here at the bottom... Um, let me show you in case you're just now popping on. See how there's all this metallic right here? Oh, it's the good stuff. I love it so much. When it dries, it's going to be much more subtle than that. And of course, this is all wet. So we can add a little bit right now if you'd like over the... Um, so far not, Monica. I, I have never done that before. So, so far it has not. And I did not put wax over the transfer yet either because I really wanted to stress. Look, I'm not wanting that um, that to look perfect at all. So half of the letters are coming off and it's pretty distressed um, because I wanted it to look like the script was really old on there. So I'm gonna do this down here in the sections right here. I'm just pressing the, the metallic into it.
I'm going to activate it with water. And then I'm going to let it sit for just a second and let the water really saturate. What colors did I use on the pinks again? Oh, thanks, Jerry Ann. Hi, honey. This is my friend. Um, Chanel, let's see. Black velvet's at the top. Hey, Sailor. French millinery. Kissing booth. Mermaid tail. And then I finished with um, Hey, Sailor at the bottom. Overland Park. I bet you have some pretty snow in your area there. this right here you guys uh, I love it so much okay so let's just I'm gonna add a little bit more water and then I'm gonna have to walk away from it and let it just kind of do its metallic thing and the good part about it is once it's dry it always looks so good let me show you the top again you. I think the copper is too. So up here, I'll do another transfer. Probably a few more letters up here, the black over the black. It turns out it's very subtle, but it looks really good. It's the way I did it here on the front. Um, and then I'll add some of my metallic up there. And it'll just be good stuff. So hopefully I'll get the other side done today. If not, I could just have to come back tomorrow. Um, maybe at the same time. I'm not really sure what I've got going on tomorrow, but I will be back tomorrow. I'm just not sure what time. You guys, thanks for joining me, hopefully on your lunch break. Sorry that I was a little bit late, but I'm having internet connection issues, but we seem to be okay now. So thanks for the thumbs up, the hearts, and all of your fabulous shares. Hopefully we can get this online tomorrow on photograph so you can see the finished look, and I'll give you the complete recipe once again. All right, thanks and be awesome, you guys.